Hello. Captain Whitehall with Company D, second unit sharpshooters. I'm going to be talking about my target rifle thanks to a uh, subscriber comment. So, this is my personal heavy target rifle. Um, it's actually fairly light for a target rifle. This is clocking in about 16 pounds. It's uh, based off of a Hawkins rifle with a long uh, WM Malcolm telescopic sight. So, do a little bit of a close up for you on this. So, a few modifications I've had to do to my rifle is I switched out the original cone that would have taken uh, pistol caps and switched it out for a musket cap just so I don't have to go out buy extra caps. Uh, I prefer to just stick with musket caps. The scope is a six power scope with um, adjustable sight relief here and a four inch sunshade on the front. Uh, magnification on it is about six power. It's really nice, kind of feel like a god on the battlefield when you can actually crosshair people. Uh, used to do that when I regularly carried a rifle on the field and would sometimes carry this out. Uh, the rifle itself is a Lyman Great Plains Hunter in 50 caliber. Uh, you can buy these things pretty much any gun shop. Um, bought this one uh, finished. They do come in kits that so you can do them as you like so you can add a few little features. The scope I purchased online uh, I don't remember exactly where the scope came from, sadly, but uh, the rifle roughly runs about 450, 500 bucks. The scope itself is about 500. Um, luckily, this was more of a graduation present uh, from high school way back when. Uh, so it was more of, do you want a car or a rifle? A thousand bucks isn't gonna buy me a great car, so I'll take a great rifle instead. Um, uh, the rifle it's, uh, itself, Hawkins are kind of overrepresented as a sniper rifle or target rifle in the hobby. You can have target rifles custom made, uh, however they're very expensive, two to three thousand dollars and it takes a long time for them to get fixed. A uh, sharpshooter back east that I uh, used to talk to pretty often waited almost three years to get his uh, personal target rifle made but it looks fantastic. Um, there's a few websites you can find on the internet. just. Uh, through parts and all that. Some parts are finished, some aren't. You actually have to file, sand, polish because there's all the castings, uh, the sprue castings and everything still on them. Stocks usually left unfinished so you actually have to mill them down more, uh, get them fitted for everything, but they do look the part. Uh, barrels, again, you can find 32 caliber, 40 caliber, 42 caliber rifle barrels, but again, they come unfinished. You have to actually have a gunsmith either do them or unless you're talented enough yourself finish them out yourself. But uh, just showing this off, thanks to a uh, viewer comment, like I said in the beginning. Uh, so if you like what you see, please like. Uh, if you really like what you see, uh, subscribe. And feel free to leave a comment. Uh, if anyone else wants to request a video on anything, please feel free to. Thank you.